آج ہم اس تقریق کے حوالے سے یہی کہیں گے کہ پاکستان کی خوشحالی کے لیے یہ ایک بہترین پروگرام ہے کہ دیائر غیر میں رہنے والے پاکستانی پاکستان سے اتنی ہی محبت کرتے ہیں جتنا پاکستان سے باہر رہنے والے پاکستانی کرتے ہیں اللہ تعالیٰ پاکستان کی سلامتی برقرار رکھے اور ہمیں توفیق دے کہ ہم اپنے ملک کے لیے دیائر غیر میں بیٹھ کے جو کر سکتے ہیں ہم اس پر کریں گے شکریہ present people, uh, everyone jovial and happy, and uh, a marvellous uh, occasion uh, with everyone enjoying themselves, so nice to see. I think uh, it's a very large gathering, it's nice to see so many people, people not only of Pakistani origin, but people from other countries as well. It's also being very well supported by the High Commissioners and the Ambassadors of Uh, several countries in fact I've just been speaking to about five ambassadors so it's very well supported and we wish them well undoubtedly we wish Pakistan well and uh, of course we are friends of Pakistan United Kingdom we have good relationship with Pakistan apart from that there is a very large Pakistani diaspora in this country the Pakistani diaspora is doing very well they are good business people, they are professional people, they are creating wealth, they, uh, they are uh, providing employment, paying taxes. So the Pakistani community in the United Kingdom is doing very well. I am very pleased to be here today celebrating the Pakistan Day, which is um, a, 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 an important event in the Pakistan's history. And I wish all the Pakistanis, Pakistan, Zindabad. May I extend a very warm Welcome to you all to the Pakistan Day Reception. We really appreciate your presence here this evening to share our joy and celebration. On 23rd March 1940, 75 years ago, the Muslims of the subcontinent under the epoch making leadership of Jannah, father of the nation, Qaid Yazam Muhammad Ali Jannah, passed the Pakistan resolution that after seven years long arduous struggle and sacrifices culminated in the shape of State of Pakistan on 14th of August 1947. Ladies and gentlemen, Pakistan has come a long way since. Despite formidable challenges, what we have achieved to date is a testimony to the exemplary strength and resilience of our people. Today, in Pakistan, under the leadership of Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif, we are consolidating democracy, stimulating economic growth, empowering our people and defeating the forces of darkness which want to stall our progress. Our economy is on the path of sustained recovery, our trade is growing, and investments are flowing into the country. This all is testimony to the confidence in the government's reform-oriented economic agenda. <coughs> Through the countless sacrifices, we are succeeding in defeating terrorism in our country, especially in our tribal areas. The courage with which Pakistani people and our variant armed forces are fighting this menace is unparalleled. I will be remiss if I do not mention the unprecedented courage of the students and teachers of the Army Public School Peshawar, in which, uh, which deserves our special tributes. I wish to also acknowledge the presence amongst us today of Mr. Muhammad Nawaz, father of two brave students, Haris Nawaz Shaheed and Ahmed Nawaz, critically injured in the Peshawar school terrorist attack. Ladies and gentlemen, our youth, our men, our women, are working relentlessly for the better, brighter and prosperous Pakistan. We are indeed destined to succeed, inshallah.
I am pleased to note that Pakistan and the United Kingdom enjoy strong and cordial relations based on shared history, cultural affinities, and com commonality of interests. Our two countries, leaderships have an excellent understanding on a wide range of issues. We are strategic partners, have sizable bilateral trade, though there still exists huge untapped potential, excellent development cooperation, and strong people-to-people -people contact. These warm relations between our two countries are further reinforced by our 1.2 million strong diaspora who have made significant contributions in every field of the British society, be it politics, sports, culture, or the economy itself. We are therefore working closely with the British Pakistani diaspora to further strengthen our relations for the mutual benefit benefit of our two countries and peoples. Distinguished guests, I am glad to acknowledge the presence in our midst of Malala Yousafzai, the youngest ever Nobel laureate and a symbol of hope and courage. We shall shortly confer our national award upon her. May I therefore conclude by thanking again all of you, especially the Right Honourable Nikki Morgan and Right Honourable Francis Moore for joining us this evening to celebrate the National Day of Pakistan. I thank you ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. Your Excellency, distinguished guests, uh, ladies and gentlemen, fellow members of Parliament, it's a real privilege and pleasure for me to be here tonight to join you to mark Pakistan's National Day. Uh, as you said, Your Excellency, it is a sign of the strength of the relationship between Pakistan and the United Kingdom that so many people are here today to celebrate our deep bonds of shared history, culture, business, <coughs> politics and family. Tonight we also celebrate that there are over 1.1 million people here in the United Kingdom of Pakistani heritage and that more than a million trips are made annually between our two countries. I am delighted that the United Kingdom and Pakistan have signed an education and cultural roadmap reflecting our strong and unique links when Prime Minister Sharif visited London last year. This roadmap recognises this bond and our joint commitment to strengthen and develop further our friendship and collaboration in these important areas. Education, and I am the Secretary of State for Education, plays, I'm pleased to say, an important part in our shared relationship because education can transform a nation's future and girls' education in particular is a priority for the UK government's programme in Pakistan. We believe it is vital to ensure that girls have equal opportunity to education and to go to school and so far the United Kingdom's support in Pakistan has benefited 3 million girls in primary schools and by 2016 we expect that 7.5 million primary school children will have benefited in Pakistan through United Kingdom support. In the part of Pakistan that Malala is from, we have supported the provincial governments to increase girls' attendance at school through the use of stipends and vouchers, provision of free textbooks, and improving school facilities to make sure they are safe and appropriate for girls. And I think Malala's bravery in standing up to the Pakistani Taliban for the right of all girls in Pakistan to an education is an example to us all. Malala, you remain an inspiration to children and adults everywhere. We should all remember that it is indeed, as you said, very precious, it's very prestigious to go to school. So for that reason, let me conclude with your words. Reading a book, having a pen in our hands, studying, sitting in a classroom, is something very special for us. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, thank you for the invitation for me to join you on this very special day. It's a real privilege <coughs> to be here. Thank you.
President of Islamic Republic of Pakistan has conferred upon her the civilian award of bravery, Sitara Shujaat, in recognition of her role in the field of education. I now request His Excellency <coughs> Sayyid Ibn Abbas and Ms. Malala to come on stage for conferment of the award. <laughs> I request Deputy High Commissioner for Pakistan, Mr. Imran Mirza, to please come and read the citation. Ms. Malala Yousafzai has been acknowledged for her bravery and unwavering courage to the cause of education. She grew up in Swat Valley. From the age of 10, she has been com campaigning for the rights of girls to education by writing a blog for BBC. In October 2012, Malala was shot by Taliban while she was re returning from school and sustained serious injuries. Following the attack, Malala was flown to Birmingham, where she received medical treatment at the Queen Elizabeth Hospital. Malala continues to campaign for the right of every child to go to school. Since the attack, she has become an internationally recognized figure for her courage and bravery. She was named as one of the 100 most influential people in the world in 2013 by the Times Magazine. <laughs> Malara is also the recipient of Pakistan's first national youth peace prize, the European Union's Sakharov Prize 2012, Tipperary International Peace Award, Amnesty International's Ambassador for Conscience Award and Glamour Person of the Year Award 2013, among many others. Malala is the youngest person in the history to receive the Nobel Prize. She also authored a book entitled I Am Malala, which has won the Best Nonfiction Category Award at the UK's National Book Awards. In recognition of her unflinching determination to the cause of education, the President of Islamic Republic of Pakistan has been pleased to confer the award of Sitara Shujaat on Malala Yousafzai. Dear friends, brothers and sisters, Assalamu alaikum and hello to all of you. I am receiving this award, Sitare Shujaat. This is a great honor for me. And I would like to thank Honorable High Commissioner. And I would also like to thank our Prime Minister and President of Pakistan for this great honor. And I believe that it is an encouragement for me to continue my campaign for education. And today, I dedicate this award to all those children who have fought for their rights. Award, this award is for those children who have sacrificed their lives in this campaign for education, for humanity, and for peace. And they have become a target of terrorism. As the High Commissioner already said, more than 100 children in Peshawar were attacked. They became martyrs. They sacrificed their lives for education. This award is for them. This award, this award is for Etizad Hassan, who stood bravely, stood bravely to the terrorist and stopped his school from being blown up. It is boys and girls like Etizad and children in Peshawar school who deserve this award. And I'm also honored that the Pakistani government has honored them. So that is a very good step so that these children receive this courage that the government and their people and their country is with them. And today I also tell them that you are not alone. We all stand by you and we are going to continue this campaign for education together and we are going to fight.
一。And when it comes to Pakistan,、um, I know sometimes we get hopeless,、um, but it is true up to an up to a great extent that there are many challenges, many challenges in this fight against terrorism, sectarianism, extremism. There are many challenges, but when we look at the unity of people, when we look at the bravery of people, when we look at the brave children of Pakistan, and when we look at the support of international community to Pakistan, then it gives us hope. It gives us hope that the future of Pakistan is going to change, and we are going to see a prosperous and developed Pakistan in which every child. With a girl or boy, will get quality education. This is the Pakistan we want to see, and for to to achieve this Pakistan, we have to come together. and And I think we should be hopeful for that because we have we have many women who are really strong, who are activists for women's rights, for education, for humanity. And、uh, here,、uh, Asma Jangir, Honorable Asma Jangir, is also present, and we salute to her bravery, to her courage, and what she has done. And so many, many, many thanks. To her. And when Pakistan was、uh, created in 1947, so it was created.、Um, the, the person who fought for it was Qayyad Muhammad Ali Jinnah. And、uh, today is Pakistan Day, so I think it is a good opportunity to end this speech、um, with his words. And he said. You are free. You are free to go to your temples. You are free to go to your mosques or any other place of worship in the state of Pakistan. You may belong to any religion or caste or creed. That has nothing to do with the business of the state. So this is the message of tolerance, the message of humanity. The message of brotherhood, and this is the message that we should follow. We should come together and make the development of Pakistan as our one goal, and that can be done through prioritizing education. Thank you so much. For आई तुम से सब खुश रहे हैं जरा। I'm really honoured that、um, I have received the Nobel Peace Prize, and it's not just an honour for me, but it's an honour for our country. And I have dedicated it already to all those children who have fought for their right to education. And when I received the prize, I felt that. This prize was received by children, not just me. So here is a copy of the diploma which I want to present to the、um, High Commissioner of Pakistan. Yes, 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 yes. Excellent. I'm Reverend Shahbaz Javed from Welcome Soul United Reformed Asian Church. Uh, I just want to say that it's it's a time for、uh, Christians and Muslims to come together to celebrate this day, and it is really good to see so many people over here. And I, on behalf of Christian community from、uh, Pakistan, I assure all the people and、uh, that we are Pakistanis, and our heart goes for Pakistan. And in this time of difficulty, when Pakistan is fighting a terrorist war, we we pray for Pakistan, we pray for peace and solidarity. Okay, I'm celebrating the anniversary of Pakistan's independence、uh, by coming to this wonderful party, and I'm also going to mock my、uh, British Pakistani friends who support Pakistan at cricket as well. Well, it's just good to be here today. We are celebrating the、uh, Pakistan Day celebration with the High Commissioner, and as you can see, there's a huge number of people here from all walks of life, just giving a warm welcome to this new year. I have enjoyed very much meeting a lot of old friends, and also hearing from Malala Yousafzai and a number of other speakers, which gives us hope and inspiration that how young people today 
can be so brave and can be an inspiration to many, many young people. And it's good to be here, enjoying the food, enjoying the atmosphere, and it's lovely to be here.